Hello, GTA fans. Today, we're going to talk about the latest rumors about GTA 6 that started circulating after the trailer was released. It looks like someone on 4chan dropped a bunch of info that could change everything we've been thinking about the game. There's stuff about the characters, new features in the game, and even changes to how we play. So, if you're curious to know what might be coming in GTA 6, stay tuned to this video. We'll take a look at these rumors and try to understand what they could mean for this upcoming release. One of these bits of info is about Jason, one of the main characters. Contrary to many fans' theories, it seems Jason is not a federal agent or an undercover cop. This detail changes expectations about his role in the game's narrative. However, the rumor suggests that Jason and Lucia, the other protagonist, will be involved in missions carried out at the request of federal agents. This is similar to what we saw in GTA 4, where the player did jobs for the mysterious UL paper contact. This dynamic suggests that while not being directly part of the government or federal agencies, the main characters will be influenced by these entities and involved in operations connected to the government. These missions for the feds could add a complex layer to gameplay and story, offering missions that involve high tension, strategy, and maybe even moral dilemmas. One of the most interesting rumors about GTA 6 is that the game has a very specific inspiration, the movie The Place Beyond the Pines, starring Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendes. This movie is known for its complex narrative, exploring themes like legacy, crime, and family relationships over several decades. If this rumor is true, we can expect GTA 6 to bring similar elements into its story. Perhaps we'll see plots that develop over years, focusing on family issues, moral choices, and the long-term consequences of the character's actions. This would mean a departure from the traditional themes of previous games in the series, which usually focus on more immediate criminal rise and power conflicts. This inspiration could bring emotional depth and narrative complexity to GTA 6, challenging players to engage not just in action and crime missions, but also in stories that explore the humanity of the characters and the nuances of their lives. At some point in the story, the main characters, Jason and Lucia, are going to split up. This is likely to happen around the middle of the game. If true, this separation could be a crucial point in the plot, perhaps showing the characters following different paths for a while and dealing with their own challenges. This could add more emotion and tension to the story and give us a chance to see how each of them fares on their own. It will be interesting to see how this separation influences their development and what happens when they reunite. Luis Lopez, that memorable character from The Ballad of Gay Tony, is going to appear in GTA 6. It's not yet clear exactly what his role in the game will be, but it doesn't seem to be very big. Still, just knowing that a beloved character from a previous game is making an appearance is exciting news. It could be a special cameo, or maybe he's involved in some missions. Either way, it'll be interesting to see how Rockstar brings Luis back and what he's up to in this new chapter. The rumor that 70% of the buildings in the game will have accessible interiors is partly true. It seems that Rockstar Games is really putting a huge effort into creating many detailed interiors where players can enter and explore. This doesn't mean that all buildings will have interiors, but it indicates that a good portion of them will. This could mean more places to explore, hide, or even carry out missions. If confirmed, this detail could add a new layer of realism and immersion to the world of GTA 6, giving players even more freedom to interact with the game environment. The social network that appears in the trailer is probably a clone of TikTok or Instagram Reels. Apparently, this fictional social network is going to be an important part of the game. As the story progresses, the residents of Vice City will use this app to comment on the main couple, Jason and Lucia, and the things they're doing in the city. This reminds me a bit of what happens in Watch Dogs 2, where the player's actions influence public opinion. If this is true, this in-game social network could be a cool way to show the NPCs reactions to the player's choices and actions, adding a more interactive and dynamic layer to the world of GTA 6. One rumor is that Lucia has a son, but contrary to the idea that Lucia would be a single mother, the leaker indicates that the son she has is actually the result of her relationship with Jason. This revelation adds a new dimension to the game's plot, as it suggests that the couple's criminal activities are partly motivated by the responsibilities and challenges of caring for their son. This aspect of the story could offer a unique perspective on the reasons that lead the characters into the world of crime. 
Instead of focusing only on financial gains or the pursuit of power, the game could explore more complex themes like the struggle for family survival, the difficulties of balancing parenthood with an outlaw lifestyle, and the emotional consequences that come with it. If this rumor is confirmed, we can expect Rockstar Games to deliver a story with more complex emotional layers, where players can engage not only in missions and action, but also in the personal journey and challenges faced by the protagonists. An interesting novelty that might be coming in GTA 6 is the possibility of paying for things using iFruit Pay, which would be the game's version of Apple Pay. This means that instead of just using cash or stealing what you need, you could simply pay with a tap on your in-game phone. This feature would add another layer of realism to the game, reflecting how people pay for things in real life these days. Besides, it could open up new possibilities for missions and interactions in the game, like hacking other people's iFruit Pay or using the system for other creative activities. GTA 6 is expected to feature a huge diversity in NPCs with over 50 different body types. This would be a big change compared to previous games, where most NPCs had only a few standard models. With so much variety, the streets of Vice City are going to look much more real and alive, because in real life, people have all kinds of bodies. This can make the experience of exploring the game even more immersive, as you'll encounter a much wider variety of characters along the way. Rockstar's characteristic humor is everywhere in GTA 6. This means we can expect that mix of satire, irony, and sharp jokes that have always been part of the series. Whether it's in conversations between characters, in fictional advertisements scattered around the city, or even in the absurd situations players encounter along the way, it looks like the game will continue the tradition of making us laugh while criticizing aspects of society. This humor is a trademark of Rockstar Games, and it's great to know they're keeping this feature in the new GTA. With so many rumors, from missions with federal agents to the possibility of digital payments in the game, Rockstar seems to be preparing something huge for us. And let's not forget the personal stories of the characters, which promise to add layers of emotion and complexity to the game. I want to know what you think about all this. Which rumors do you find most exciting? How do you think these new features will change the experience of GTA 6? Leave your comments below, because I love reading and responding to your opinions. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming updates. We'll keep an eye on everything happening with GTA 6 and bring you the hottest information. See you next time.